Today we're watching Alien Covenant. I'm really looking forward to getting into this one. I don't know how it ties into Prometheus and the overarching um, story of the Alien franchise. I I know that for the first time in the history of the franchise, Prometheus ended with what felt like very much like setting up the sequel. Like we have Shaw and, and David going off to find the engineer's home planet. And I was really curious to see how that story played out and will we get to see that or not? I don't really know, but I'm so excited to find out. So let's do that. Let's experience Alien Covenant for the very first time. What do you see? Who? White. Is this like David's origin story? Perfect. Am I? Perfect. Your son. You are my hey. creation. He's what never done name? that before. Stop it. Oh, he's going to the statue of David. Is he naming himself right now? <laughs> David. Oh, that's clever. What would you like me to play? <laughs> Wagner. Hey, how come David's not blonde? Wasn't he blonde in the last movie? If you created me. Who created you? Who created you? So we are building on the themes oh. from the last movie. The question of the ages. You seek your creator. I am looking at mine. You will die. I will not. Okay, yes. That's exactly what's gonna happen. <laughs> 2,000 colonists are on board? 14, oh my gosh, 1,100 embryos? Deploying energy recharge sales now. What Walter, is- Walter, we have a problem. Walter? A neutrino burst was detected in sector 106. Ooh. That, that is pretty destructive. Oh, no, 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 no. Initiate emergency crew revival. How many of them are actually going to be able to wake up? Oh man. Whoa, it sucks so bad to be awakened this way. Dude, oh my gosh. Like trying to wake up those that aren't waking up yet, but knowing you don't really have time to talk to them or grieve if they're lost. Like this is an insane moment. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Get it open. No! This is really well done. I'm sad. <laughs> it's a tribute and a credit to the, a film that made me feel sad over a character when I don't know any of the characters yet, but I mean, it's obviously her husband or partner or whatever. I don't know if they were married or not, but. They're your crew now. They need a leader. Wow. You believe in memory. Not the way you want to be promoted. The current structural integrity of the ship is holding at 83%, but we have many secondary systems that are offline. Let's get this ship fixed. We just lost 47 colonists and our captain. I completely understand, but if we don't make these repairs, we will lose all right. the colonists. Jake had this dream of us building a cabin on a new world. Like pioneers. I like the simple beauty of the dream. There's a lake in the terraforming zone on Warakai 6. I love the idea that I mean, a it, real know, cabin made of real wood. Taking such a simple dream onto a new planet. It's kind of contrasting and beautiful. Now I wonder why I bother. Because you promised to build a log cabin on a lake. <laughs> simple and good response. To all the good people gone too soon. May we remember them. Remember, remember them. Yeah. Is he mad that they're not, that they're taking the time even though he said not to, or is he mad that he didn't? <laughs> they disobeyed a direct order. Okay. Answers that question. They don't trust me for the same reason the company didn't trust me to lead this mission, because you can't be a person of faith and be counted on to make qualified, rational decisions. Taking time to bury the dead seems like something a man of faith would do. Copy. Let's do it. Versus being all about prioritizing fixing the ship. I don't know. Please have a cold beer ready for the weary traveler. You got it, darling. I will join the Uh-oh. Ferris. Ferris, put the... <sighs> what is he seeing? Is this some kind of interference? I mean, I was just kind of starting to wonder, okay, how is the uh, alien or whatever threat 
that's going to be in this film going to be presented? Um, I still don't know the answer, but that's this is this is the start. I'm sure. Is it from the Prometheus crew, Shaw and David? Wow. <laughs> Planet number four, square in the habitable zone. Prime candidate, in fact. How far is it? She's close. Wouldn't even have to go back into hypersleep. I think it's safe to say that none of us are too keen on getting back into one of those pods. <laughs> Let's chart a course and take a closer look. I think it's a bad idea. But I, mean, I definitely want them to. We spent a decade searching for Aurigai 6. It's what we trained for. Now that, we're going to scrap all that to chase a rogue transmission. I'm simply trying to navigate the path as it unfolds before us, and this has the potential to be a better habitat for our colony. As your second, I need to protest. Officially. Officially. Protest logged. This looks like a plasma storm is in the thermosphere. Communication will be spotty if the storm goes electromagnetic. Launching together. together. Three, Three, two, two one. Well, I gotta, we gotta stay in sync, everybody. One, release. And away they go. Are we gonna get to see Walter and David interact? Because that'd be interesting. I hate spruce! <laughs> this is why you need to do yoga! I said, this isn't technically space anymore. You hate this planet, sir. <laughs> We got smooth water over there. I'm gonna put us down Amphib. Okay. We're having some trouble reading you. Can, is there any way you can try and boost the signal? We may have clipped something and then we get out of the water. Okay. All right. I like that music. They keep that kind of Nice place for a log cabin. Jake, what a log is this? Hey, Danny. It's not such a bad landing site after all, huh? We got the housing. Give it time. Over there. This is wheat. That's odd. This is old, but definitely cultivated. Hey, stop it. Stop messing with my equipment. You've never done that before. No, I think I want to stay here. This might be a good place to start a full ecology workup. You could pick me up on the way back, okay? You hear that? What? I don't hear it. Nothing. Oh, then I do hear it. No animal. See, now that's, nothing. that's worth paying attention to. Where's the wildlife? I gotta take a leak. Oh gosh, what is it, what is it? It kind of look like poo, but, well, what is it, what is it? Like weird little particles? Oh, it's kind of like, a somewhat reminiscent of that black goo from the last movie. So small, oh no. Is he gonna burst open? Is this a problem? Oh, that's the ship! Okay, if that's Shaw and David's ship, where is Shaw and David? I don't like it! And why did they land here? This isn't the engineer's home planet, is it? If it is, where are the engineers? Probably should just watch the movie. Uh oh, no! That makes likely two infected. Ah! Dr. E. Shaw. She was a chief science officer of the Prometheus. Hmm. The ship that disappeared. Ten years ago. How did she end up here? Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I, I don't know what's no, wrong with me. Just, just look at me. Look at me. <sighs> Come on, I wanted to notice something. This is bad. We are returning to the lander. Is everything okay? No. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm okay. Can you walk? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Sorry. Get over here! Oh, I need oh gosh. Because <laughs> so far, I'm having a great time with this movie. This is my favorite Alien movie since Aliens. Uh, at this moment in time. Oh. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That sucks. Just stay here. I'm gonna get warm. He's like, it's not gonna burst from his chest. It's gonna burst through his whole freaking body is what it feels like. Oh my gosh. He started bleeding. He's sick. I don't know. Calm down. Calm down, sweetheart. Tell me what's happening. Yeah, the panic is real. Uh, 
want you to order this fucking thing, Ferris! Stop him yelling! It doesn't help anything. Like, anyhow, Worm's coming. You're sentencing her to death right now. Just so we're clear, this you have sentenced her to death. Ah! Oh, Lincoln! Oh, wow. I cannot believe she didn't let her out. People make bad decisions when they panic. Ah. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Please hurry, there's something on board, please. Ferris, go again, you're breaking up. Man, you're one, repeat. The idea of their communications being so distorted is brilliant. Oh, cool. Ah! Oh, God. Woo! Oh, dude, you're gonna shoot her. Oh, it's too late! Oh! That thing is strong! I predict zero survivors. Thank you for coming. Get it! I mean, you're like being reckless as all get out, you're destroying the ship. Oh, Ooh. oh they all, everyone on board just died. Crap. We have a just, oh. It's like, I don't even need a burst. I'll just crawl out this guy's mouth. Did that kill him or leave him alive? Walter's just like cold and calculating and is staring at that sucker. It's a 7.5 ion storm. It's a miracle we could talk to them for as long as we could. She was scared. Never heard my wife scared before. Is it already bigger? I'm always shocked at how fast these freaking things grow. Oh! Dang! Holy crap! Oh, oh, what is this? Chris! Chris! Oh, his name is Chris. I'm Chris. Now. We have to go. What's going on here? This looks like a, I mean, obviously it's some kind of tomb or graveyard. Whoa, is this like a city? Where are we? 10 years ago, Dr. Elizabeth Shaw and I arrived here. The ship we traveled on carried a weapon, a deadly virus, payload accidentally deployed when we were landing. Mm. Elizabeth died in the crash. Oh. Have we been infected? You'd know by now. <laughs> we have to be certain. We're a colony mission. How many colonists? Oh no. The last thing I want is for David to have access to 2,000 colonists. Oh, we're, we're cutting our own hair. Interesting. By interesting, I kind of mean, what's the point of this? Why do we need this scene? Like if anything ever literally felt like fluff in a movie, I think watching a robot cut his hair qualifies. Uh, now this is interesting. What is this? Don't be shy. I can't play. Sit down. This is less interesting. Why are we watching? I thought like, them interacting would be fun. Instead, it's a music lesson. This is stupid. <laughs> this movie just lost lost me. Like, I've lost all interest. What? Why is this a part of the movie? I'm taking a break, because I'm, I'm annoyed. <laughs> like, this is stupid. All right. Sorry about that. Maybe this will end up being really significant. Let's find out. <laughs> He's a fast learner, but that's not surprising. You disturbed people. I beg your pardon. You were too human, thinking for yourself. So they made the following models with fewer complications. Ooh. More like machines. Anyway, sorry for getting annoyed. I was really enjoying the film, but then I just felt like it was wasting my time. Overall, that scene ended up being pretty interesting. Just took a while to get there. <laughs> you were right about this place. We lost five crew members because of my decisions. That... Chris, we all lost people we love. We can't lose anymore. We're not going to let that happen, right? We need your faith. 
Dude, she's... She's great. Look on my works, you mighty. And despair. More engineers. Wait. Wait. Oh, holy crap! David freaking annihilated them! Wow. On one hand, like, isn't that what they were planning to do to us? On the other hand, he had no right! Also, where is Shaw? Shaw wouldn't have let him do that. Did he kill Shaw? I thought the garden was the right place for her. I loved her, of course. Did you? Much as you love Daniels. Okay, I would like to know how she died. No, that's not possible. Then why did you sacrifice your hand for her life? Duty. I know better. Hmm. Oh, dang. Mm -mm. What are we seeing? What the heck is that? Is that something different? We need help. We've had casualties. Mother, bring us within 40 kilometers of the storm. Sir, I'm sorry. sorry. That order would exceed structural tolerance. Command override. Move. What killed her? Was it one of the cre two creatures we saw running around? Or are there other creatures running around? Okay. Okay. Like it's standing on two legs? What the heck is that? What? It's not attacking David. Move. Walter. Shoot. David's not gonna Move. let Walter kill it. Shoot. That's not Walter, that's... Breathe on the nostrils of a horse. That's Captain Chris. It'll be yours for life. Yes! No! It trusted me! You're gonna tell me exactly what's going on. From the eggs came these parasites. Shock troops of the genetic assault. Soon enough, I began a bit of genetic experimentation of my own. Of course you did. So David's the true engineer. Oh no. <laughs> Perfectly safe. Wow. Ah, sure. uh, zero percent trustworthy. No. Take a look. Don't do it. I actually think this is really cool. This is making Prometheus. <laughs> yes! This does make Prometheus a better movie. If not a movie that's still, I think, a kind of pretentious. Dude, <laughs> that was cool. That was worth it. That was worth it for me to get to that moment. T, I need you to launch now. Aye, aye. Launching now. Disengaged. Docking clearance release. What do you believe in, David? Ooh, good question. Creation. Oh! Oh, yeah. Golly, there's something still disgusting about this. <laughs> still effective. <laughs> We got ourselves a xenomorph, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! Disturbing. Yeah, like, you know, because of the music and the scene, like, beautiful in a horrible, grotesque way. Seriously, perversion. Seriously, perver is that? Is that Shaw? Farewell, allergy to my dear Elizabeth. I'm pretty sure you killed her. I'm pretty sure that you experimented on her. When one note is off, it eventually destroys the whole symphony, David. Hmm. I've found perfection here. I've created it. Distorted. Perfect organism. It is a perfect organism. You know I can't let you leave this place. Yeah, Walter versus David. Let's go. No one will ever love you like I do. Well, I thought there might be more of a, of a battle.
An arm. I'm going downstairs. Ah, there it is. Ah. Oh, there's the Masetic Blood. Definitively. Uh oh. There we go. Sha didn't die in the crash. What did you do to her? He loved her. Exactly what and I that plan to do to you. Just like he loved Walter. Uh. Whoa. Hold up. Go now. I thought he was like dead dead. There have been a few updates since your day. All right. Any chance that they get out of here with the colonists? Any chance? Where's David? Expired. Yeah, good. Ah, uh, no! Are they gonna take the xenomorph back to their ship? That would suck! <laughs> oh man, oh man. Wild. This is actually great. I got eyes on it. Oh, it's like break it in! No! Oh, dude. It'll unbalance us. Just do it! Okay. This is interesting. <laughs> nice idea, Danny. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Is she okay? Is she okay? Does she does she get acid faced? All right, rebalancing, putting the drill back in place. Whoo! The my question is, um, Mr. Acid Face, is is he okay? Does he have a Zeno inside him? Thank you. Thank you for saving my life. It's my duty. He's keeping it honest. Captain Daniels, please report to the med bay. There is an unidentified life form on the ship. Oh my god. And I like the decision to not show us this happening, because we've seen it. We know what's happened. There it is. Okay. Heading for crew quarters. Is anyone down there? Warn them! Attention. No, they can't hear! I get it! Look, you're trying to reconnect, but dadgummit, it's bad timing for the, the sick of staying alive! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Down! That was inventive! Those good use of the through the shower wall! Oh, gross! Dude! Is he next? Come on, don't kill Tennessee. Uh, at least there's a trail. Walter, seal all doors behind us and keep hatch to level C open. Understood. Closed. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hey, T. Clear his path to the terraforming bay. Understood. They're gonna try to find a way to eject it into space? Ah! It looks great. <laughs> yeah. I'll lure it into the truck, lock it in the cabin. When I say when, you blow this into space. Understood. Good goal, good goal. Woo! Here we go! Run, 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 run! Run, run, run! Yes! 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 Okay, no, nope. you know, make haste! I got you, you son of a- Okay, but hurry! Oh man, she's 
she's gonna sacrifice herself. No! <gasps> Holy crap. You okay, Danny? Danny? Daniels! Oh, thank God. <laughs> Thanks for not responding verbally and just waiting for the visual cue. Colonists are safe and everyone's fine. Walter? When we get there, will you help me build my cabin? Aww. I love that. What? Is that not Walter? Wait, I thought Walter killed David. <laughs> I just assumed Walter won. No way, are you serious? The heck, what? I'm of two minds here. Uh, on one hand, I really loved this movie. I liked the crew of The Covenant. Uh, they were easy to root for. I think I think having like that tragic loss of, of Danny's husband at the beginning of the movie uh, kind of automatically made me sympathize with the crew and want to root for them, even though I didn't know all of them, like there wasn't exactly a whole lot better character development uh, during this movie than the last one. I instinctively cared about them because of the shared tragedy at the start. And I was really invested as they started um, dying off at the beginning of this. They faced the aliens and the infection and, and whatever version of the Xenomorph that was that, that killed them. I loved the, the idea that David was the engineer of the perfect organism and the xenomorph that's more uh, similar to we know. I liked and really enjoyed like the the overarching story there of how it all kind of connected and built on Prometheus uh, and leading to that final uh, xenomorph battle on that spaceship. I even kind of like mixed feelings about it, but I kind of like the twist of it being David at the end. I thought all of that was very, very interesting, very, very fascinating. It makes me want to see if there is a third installment in this prequel trilogy or whatever you want to call it. I'd like to see it and see exactly how things lead into the original Alien movie. I find it really, really interesting. At the same time, part of it doesn't work for me. And I've been really trying to think about what it is uh, between Prometheus and this movie. And the parts that don't work for me are the ideas that were built upon from Prometheus. And it's, I think it's that the way the ideas are presented come across as pretentious. Instead of it coming across as like an organic, interesting idea, it's like the movie is screaming, look at me and my creative, intelligent ideas. That's what I feel like, and that's my opinion. If you love the way the ideas are presented in this movie, that is fantastic. But I don't, it doesn't hit me right. It just hits me as like, uh, really? It doesn't, it doesn't quite work for me. And I wish it did, because like on, on paper, I kind of like the idea of a, the crew of Prometheus going off, searching for the makers and finding that they were going to be our destroyers and then David. I just think it's the way Ridley Scott is presenting the ideas. It's clear that he has some really significant, some really specific ideas that he's laying out here in these movies uh, and they really are interesting. I, I like them in theory, uh, but for whatever reason, the execution isn't working for me. Again, I'm left feeling that mixed feel, that same mixed feeling I felt at the end of Prometheus. Um, like I liked the movie a lot, like both Prometheus and Alien Covenant, I personally enjoyed more than Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection. I liked this one, I think on the whole, more than Prometheus. So like, that's awesome. That's great. We're going in the right direction. But at the end, it's just kind of like, I just want to go watch Alien again. And I'm probably going to do that <laughs> pretty soon. I do want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. If you uh, enjoyed this reaction, please hit the subscribe button and the like button for more like this. I may have reversed those, but yeah, here's some uh, movies and videos YouTube thinks you would like, so feel free to check them out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.